Hey, good morning. It's Helen. And Toby. And we are the... Milky's Moms <laughs> with BoobTube, but we don't have anybody watching yet, so we probably should hang out just a little bit and wait for a couple people to come on our show before yeah. we really start talking. But I know some things that we could talk about a little bit is that we're just having a fun time here in Las Vegas. It's beautiful. I, I'm from the Portland area, and so... <laughs> We have a lot of rain and coldness already, so to be here in lovely and very warm and dry Las Vegas is very kind warm of like and dry a Las Vegas for me. That's for sure. <laughs> it is, and we're here at the ABC Kids Show, and we're just waiting for a few of you guys to come on for us to Good really morning. start our show. Good morning to the couple that we have. Oh, I see some more coming on. So yeah, I mean, we are going to talk about some amazing products for you guys that we have found at the show. Good morning. How are you guys doing? We're kind of standing up. We're together, which is always fun. Not our split screen that you normally yes, see. Yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. This is so fun to be actually hanging out with my friend Toby. Yes, yeah. I can like bumper and stuff like that. <laughs> well, looks like we've got some more people coming on, so let's get going. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Toby. And I'm Helen. And we are the Milky's Moms, Moms on the boob tube. That's right. Episode 8. Episode 8. We are here at the ABC Kids Expo in Las Vegas. Beautiful and Las Vegas. I bet you guys probably want to know what the heck is the ABC Kids Show. I didn't know. Before I came here, I had no idea what it was. Like, ABC, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Right. So you tell us real quick, what is? <laughs> well, ABC Kids Expo is an international baby product show. So companies come here from all over the world to display products that they may have had for a while and they're introducing to new people or really innovative new products that are just coming out. So this and is that's the, the one that we're pretty excited about is the innovative. I mean, there's the big guys here like Protex and Bob Strollers, yeah, Medela, but who we're really yeah. interested in is, you know, those moms that are moms and dads that are like us. Those small products that, you know, they found their innovative parents and sometimes Grandparents. grandparents. We're really excited to, We're excited tell you about to show you about the cool grandparents. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, that we found that are here trying to get their products noticed mm -hmm. and maybe get into those stores so that you guys can find those products. So we're going to start sharing those. We're so excited. What we're excited about to show you these really and products that are invented by parents. The reason we love them is because we know that we always have a higher standard for the things that we make for ourselves and for our family. Parents make the best products for parents, I definitely think. That's right. We make the best, we make the safest, we make the most innovative products because we are the ones, we're creating this solution for ourselves. So it's just always something that we love to share because they're so well thought out and they're just yes. so like, wow, I never... Would have thought of that. That's genius. Or you hear mom say, "Oh my gosh, I totally was thinking of that. I <laughs> didn't know how to get it from here to here." Yeah. So let's start showing you a couple of them. Good all morning, right, Christy. I'm gonna grab okay. the first one here. You wanna hold that for me? Okay. So this is a mom. I mean, this looks like a onesie, and you're thinking, "Oh, it's a standard onesie." But this mom, she came up with a great idea. It's called. A Hi, Riley. zipper. Look at that. You've got your baby in the onesie, and what's the hardest thing that you need to do is to try change to that diaper. change that diaper, mm -hmm. and then try to get their little wiggly legs what leg back in. in here. So I usually used maybe like the 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 sack because mm -hmm. trying to do a onesie was a little bit too complicated for me. Um, but this mom, I really like the ideas of the onesies because of course they're cute and mm -hmm. I love them so and cozy much for those cozy. of us that live in cold climates. But you know, I like the convenience of the zipper. Okay, so what is this mom's name and what is her company? Her name is Nicole Mortimer, and we're talking about Zippy Jams. Zippy Jams, why? Because it's got a zipper. I'm gonna get a little closer for you guys yeah. to see that. It is so cool. Get the lighting there. So no more trying to stuff baby's legs open. back into pajamas that. that aren't and zip it closed. Yes. Zippy Jams. Zippyjams.com. Zippyjams.com. And we're gonna put everyone's link in the bottom. But I she's got so many colors. Oh, and another important thing, it's organic. She's got um, she told us it's got gots which is global organic textile standard. And it's organic the, probably the product. best organic products that you could find, best organic material you can find on the market. So I super, just I just think this is so well, We innovative. scoped her out right away. We said, we need moms to know about this yes. because we had this problem and it totally solved that. I just think it's super cute. And yeah. the zippers are lined inside and there's of course a zipper right here in the front. So the biggest one though was the zippers down here. Yep, Zippy totally Jams. Love Zippy Jams.com. Zippy Jams. All right, <laughs> moving on to another one. now. 
Remember how we said to you guys, we actually ran into some grandma advent inventors and we found one. And so I'm impressed. So excited about this yes. one. Yes. So this is called Unbuckle Me. And what it is, it's a simple lever. Get really and, close with that lever. Okay. See that? And how many of us haven't struggled with this tiny red button right here? Uh, and like broken nail. I struggle, nail or I broke, struggle yeah. with that tiny buckle. I struggle. I struggle. So the reason this product is awesome is because it slips right under here. And then you just push and it just comes right off. Look at that. That is so simple. We got to do that again and get a little bit closer and show you guys how you can easy see how it just pushes. It is. I'm going to get really yep. close in there and let's turn it, it sideways right under. so they can see. See how it's pushing right on the button? And then you have a much bigger space to yep. actually push and Pops open right it up. Out. Otherwise, I'm struggling to push this button hard enough to get this to release. And I like this too because sometimes I have my other kids help me with my younger. Oh. And so I have 10 year olds trying to unbutton this little button and that can be really difficult too. And you know, we also, we have to really think about, at least for me, um, I, my mom definitely helps me take care of my daughters because I work for the fire department and I'm gone for 24 hours. And my mom really struggled all the time trying to get this undone. And this is gonna be great for anyone who is older, but it's not just limited to that. It's gonna be for moms like you and I and for kids to be able to get <laughs> I'm not older. Super... I'm not an older mom. But I but I like she's, it. She's kind of old. <laughs> tell her. She's in denial. It's called advanced maternal age. Okay. So. <laughs> but this is me we gotta we gotta tell them where to get this product and what it's called. Okay. So the name of this product is Unbuckle Me. And you can get it online at unbuckleme.com. Check it out. If you have, if your mom or your mother-in-law or someone else um, that's helping you out with your kiddos is struggling with that red button, get them this. Go online, pick one up. They're really inexpensive. And you just put it in your, like the door of your car, like kind of in the yeah, pocket. Yeah, always keep it available. It could be in your purse or obviously in the car where your car seat's at. Yeah. So really nice, really nice. Unbuckleme.com. And we're going to have all these links below. And again, that is from a grandma inventor. I just, I just love it. We've got another one though. Yes, we do. Another grandma inventor. Okay. So this is from Linda Grant and she is this super amazing grandma. She's hip. She's definitely somebody who was very innovative and she took care of her grandchildren a lot. And she actually was an on the go kind of grandma and she had her kids out all the time. And unfortunately, and I think all of you guys can, you know, connect and and be there with me for this, you gotta go to the public bathroom. You gotta take your kid to the public bathroom. I do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Potty Boss. So it comes in this neat little case. Yes, but it also is a case all by itself. And this is a way morning, so that you can actually take your little one to the potty and not have them sit on the toilet or put the pieces of toilet paper all around oh and yeah it's, you know yeah and then they're kind of moving around of course the toilet paper falls down I and mean, we've got little ones here guys they're not gonna just sit still so what she came up with is a way to have this sit on the potty for you mm -hmm. it folds up and what I really love about this is it actually is much smaller and made right. for these little bums right so you have maybe a seat, a toilet seat at home, but then when you go out, you're not going to carry it, your kid's little padded toilet seat around with you. I know, I had one that made music, and I mean, I would be walking like this if I was trying yeah, to do you, that. Yeah, you're not going to do that, but you still want something that's going to fit your little kiddo's body. Yeah. Or else they're not going to sit on the toilet. And, and this is a grandma who thought of this. Yeah. Linda Grant, love her. She's amazing. Little handles for them to kind of hold on, a much littler seat for the little bums to sit on. And here's what's great. All you do when you're done is you just fold it right back up, yeah. close it, and you can just put that in your diaper bag. You can just carry it, or put it back she has it. an amazing little case for it as well. Now, there's something really... Yeah, tell me the story of Linda. Let's sad that I want to say about Linda. So <laughs> Linda's family is here, and I got to meet them, and uh, they had this beautiful picture of her, and uh, they were. I was like, where's Linda at? And they said, well, unfortunately, Linda did get cancer, and she died a couple months ago, but her family wanted to... Oh, yeah. Her family wanted to, you know, 
have this 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 idea and have something of Linda live on and they they followed through and kept her dream alive and now the potty boss is out and they're hoping that, that it's gonna be in some stores and I really hope the buyers here at the show notice something like this because it's a great story mm -hmm. an amazing woman and, and you got to go to their website the product blows my mind it the way it folds up so small I think it's so smart and it's so well engineered yes and there's there's multiple colors Colors, guys they actually have like green and orange and and pink and I think purple too because that's my <laughs> signature color I love that color signature but I got to give you their website their what I gotta take my glasses off I'm, <laughs> I'm not she's not advanced any older. maternal age or anything it's a uh, uh, pottyboss.com go check them out um, there's gonna be a picture of Linda on there you're gonna love it that is an amazing product yeah, I think so yeah and I love the story so it takes sometimes a few years to take a product from idea to actually having one. So Linda did a whole lot of work on that. She did. And it's obviously something that was a labor of love for her. So we're we're so proud to be able to share the results with you and enjoy all of the yes. time and energy that she put into the product. Now, you guys are probably wondering, like, why are our Milky's moms here at ABC? Well, we're here because we are also mom and inventors of innovative products right. and we can't do this show without at least talking a little bit about um, two of our really amazing products um, from Milky's by Fairhaven and that first inventor is Helen <laughs> who's going to show you the milk saver and just talk really briefly about it really quick because it's an amazing product and it's definitely something that we hope to get into many many stores and have moms <laughs> use it all across the world right so the milk saver has actually been out for a little while since 2008 that's the first time that I came here to ABC Kids, so that's been nine years ago. Um, I was pumping away. I had a, a little one back then that I was pumping for, but I was also trying to save as much milk as I could because I'm a nurse and I worked in a busy emergency room. And so when I was at work, I really struggled with pumping, and so I really had to focus on collecting milk when I was at home, so on my days off. And what I noticed was that I would leak so much while I was breastfeeding. So you were not a very good pumper, but you leaked all oh, the time. So this is my day. Okay, so I would start my days off with a pile of clean towels on the couch next to me. And because I would just sit and nurse my baby when he got hungry, I'd sit on my couch. And I would just put a clean towel under each boob as I started to nurse. And by the end of the day, I had a pile of milk soaked towels. Okay, so not only was I wasting tons of milk, but I was making like baskets of laundry for myself and what every new mom on top needs of more laundry to do baskets yes. of laundry and my yeah. kids spit up all the time like i would feed my kids and they would just like come right back up again so, so you had to come up with an idea that totally makes sense that mm -hmm. you're leaking all of this milk obviously because we have all these wet wet towels yeah but you're not when you're pumping you're not getting a lot so you came up with milk with saver. the milk saver so i noticed when I would nurse, there was a couple times when I balanced a bottle under my boob. I would collect two ounces every time I was how did you? How did you, like, oh, so sister. you're nursing, was, there was some you're, propping, you're, there was you're some, balancing, yeah. you're, you're, oh, you're falling over. Well, you know, mamas. We, oh, my goodness. We make it work. We make we it work. But it just, what? I mean, you can't balance a bottle. It's just not going to work. Um, so... Um, I created this product called the Milk Saver and use it to collect. Show it to yeah, this is what it looks like. So your nipple fits through the opening here, just fits into the bra um, or a snug tank top, anything holds it in place. And then when your milk lets down, it drips into this reservoir right here and you collect milk. You can collect up to 2.1 ounces is how much this holds. And we went to um, a manufacturer in my home state of Oregon and that's where it's made. So it's made within driving distance of my house. And um, it's made in America, made which in America. is, you know, something that I know for me is really important. And, you know, it's, that is important to a lot of moms and dads. Right. But I think the thing that we need to let moms know is that the letdown when you're nursing on one side actually happens on both sides. You know, your brain just doesn't say let down on the right, <laughs> let down on the left. It's not like, you know, so it happens on both sides. Yep. So as you're nursing over here, yep. you have the ability to be leaking and just wasting that precious milk. Now, we know moms are collecting anywhere from what? Each time. And each time you can collect anywhere from a half to two ounces every single time you breastfeed. And if you're using it every day and you're breastfeeding eight to 12 times a day, that's, you that's know. That's almost like 20 four, ounces of yeah. milk that you're passively, guys, passively collecting. Right. And another thing I tell moms, this is one more trick that I really love about Milk Saver, is that you can use breast compression to get even more milk stored. 
So your baby's breastfeeding on Get this side. Get in there because we're going to be grabbing some boobs. Yeah, you're going to put Milk Saver over here and then you're going to move the milk down and out of the breast. Because we know from previous boob tube episodes that an empty breast Back is is a breast that breast doesn't tell our empty breast tells you to make more breast milk. That's right. An empty breast is yep. green light, make more milk. Green light, green light. Full breast, red light. Don't make milk. <laughs> right. So we want to have even more milk coming out of the breast. So if you're able to do that, and then you collect even more milk, of course, but you're also emptying your breast, you're breastfeeding at the same time. Classic multitask. Classic right? multitask. Classic multitask. Yes. So an amazing invented, invented product that all moms possibly could probably use yeah. by an amazing woman, oh, Miss Helen right here. All right, now I get to brag about my friend now. Yay. Okay, so here, <laughs> here's her product. <laughs> okay. So I'm an inventor also. I'm a firefighter, 24 hours. So pumping really was my life because for me to be able to get breast milk for my daughter in a 24 hour period while I was completely gone and I couldn't bring her to the station, I had to pump. And I really found out that, you know, pumping into bags tends to waste a lot of breast milk. Um, my husband and I almost had an end to our marriage when I went back to work the first time and he threw away 10 ounces of breast milk because once you thaw the breast milk, you can't refreeze it. And you know, babies drink, breastfed babies drink different ounces all throughout the day. So how was he supposed to be able to figure out how to actually thaw the right amount of breast milk for that bottle. Really, it was not really a way to do that. So I came up with a way to do that, which is called the milk tray. This is a way for moms to freeze their breast milk in single ounce servings, mm -hmm. eliminating waste that's very common with nursery bags. What moms do is they're going to pump, they're going to pour into the cavity. The tray is extremely flexible, very easy to get the milk out. Mm -hmm. And it comes out in this really cool, milk stick and it's a one ounce milk stick and the shape is really important because it can fit through a narrow mouth bottle mm -hmm. as well as a wide mouth bottle. So this is what dads and grandma and caregivers and daycares are going to do. If they need to make a bottle, they only thaw the ounces needed for that specific bottle. You need three ounces, grab three sticks. If your baby needs a little bit more, then you just grab another ounce or two. And a lot of people will say, well, how is that different than an ice cream tray? Well, it has a lid, mm -hmm. it stacks, has little tabs for stacking. And what's really important is the breast milk is a lot more dense than water. So when you have an ice cream tray, you barely flex it and the ice pops out, right? Well, breast milk's not gonna do that. So you gotta really be able to flex that tray I've done it for a long time. You gotta flex that tray to be able to get that breast milk out. Mm -hmm. And these are reusable guys, so I'm a pretty eco-friendly mom. These are reusable. You're gonna freeze, pop out, store long-term in a freezer-safe Ziploc bag where you can do 20, 30 ounces in one bag, wash, reuse the trays. And then you can also use them to make homemade baby food. So, you know, that is something that was really important for me. Oh, there's our Ziploc bag with your frozen milk, because once frozen, it doesn't cling to the plastic. And I eventually used my trays to make homemade baby food, which was great, because I would have a Ziploc bag of carrots and a Ziploc mm -hmm. bag of peas. And I even use them now. Um, my children are older now. I have a 12-year-old and I have a seven. Well, she's turning seven next week, October 21st. Happy <laughs> birthday, Isabel. <laughs> um, and uh, I obviously am not making baby food for them and I'm not pumping anymore for them. But um, I actually use the trays for my family. I make what's called um, skillet starters. You probably see them in the grocery store. It's olive oil and herbs and I make my own. Mm -hmm. And that way I don't have to buy skillet starters. You've got some oregano, some sage, some thyme. Yummy. Yummy, you just freeze it in your tray that's mm -hmm. now become not a milk tray, but it's become some other type of tray. And um, I freeze those skillet starters and I throw them on the skillet and they, they dissolve and it's the aromatherapy and I cook my steak or my chicken, sometimes even my fish, yeah. and it's amazing. And you don't waste your herbs. Cause you know you no. buy those fresh herbs and then you don't use them all and then they go bad. No, cause you usually buy them and they go bad in a couple yeah. of days. So yeah, so that's the milk tray and mm -hmm. the milk saver. Those are really, uh, we have lots of products for Fairhaven, Milky's line, but those are our two most really innovative products. And uh, you can get those at www.fairhaven.com. Fairhavenhealth.com. Fairhavenhealth.com. We have one more product to this show you. This is a fun you. one. It's kind of fun, really cute. Love the story of these ladies. We're going to bring this in. Hold on. 
Hold on, pregnant woman, <laughs> pregnant woman coming. Pregnant woman coming. <laughs> So this is a uh, developed by some labor and delivery nurses. Mm -hmm. It's called Posh Pushers, and it's by Emily and Kim. And these are labor and delivery nurses that they noticed a lot of moms would come in already wearing some of their own outfits because they want to feel mm -hmm. special, they want to feel beautiful, but their clothing is not does not work with you know, everything you have to do in, in the labor and delivery, like all the cords and the mm -hmm. monitors. So what they wanted to do was come up with a way to be a, a product that will fit in the OB delivery room, <laughs> That's but right. also look really kind of cute and be functional. Mm -hmm. So lots of colors, love this. And of course, you but can of course we saw this and we said, well, how does this work for breastfeeding? Yes, because it doesn't look like it will. Snap it easily mm -hmm. right there and get to the breast. Skin to skin. Skin to skin. Go right to the breast. And it has a nice little Velcro in the back. Instead mm -hmm. of laying on buttons, it has a nice little Velcro on the back so it easily comes off. For epidurals and, yes. or for anything else you need to take the back of your gown off for. And you can get it monogrammed so you can have something really unique to yourself. And right. oh my gosh, you have to show the, the, the matching baby outfit, which I think is super, 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 super cute. Check it out. Look at that. You have the ability to <laughs> match, match your baby. And look amazing yeah. after you delivered your baby. I, I, I wish I would have had something like this because <clears throat> I, I didn't really look confusing after I You know, I, was, I didn't look great and I was fine with that because, <laughs> well, <laughs> like everybody has yes, a different experience. Some do. people want to look great and have this amazingly procured experience. And I think that's wonderful. And I think the point is all moms have different wants and desires. And different and choices and needs. And that's we're right. here to show you all of that. Right. To and be these, in control of your experience. These ladies, if you go to www.poshpushers.com, you can see their story and see all their products. I think super cute yeah. and, and really innovative because I love that it matches. Right. And also that it's definitely going to be something that... You know, you can easily wear, and the hospital's not going to tell you to take off and put right. on something and else. Right, and this was invented by two moms who are also labor and delivery nurses. Who Beautiful saw, moms, by the way. Who saw this problem, that we have moms that are wanting to wear something that's different from a hospital gown. Oh, but, look, we're switching sides. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> but, but they needed something that... That could also work from a nurse's point of view. We need to be able to unsnap. It needs to be breastfeeding friendly, all these things. And so they created something that, that addressed all those needs. So, so proud of them. Yes. And, you know, there are, I wish we could show you all the innovative products. And we're going to really try to, if you go on to Belly to Breast um, on our Facebook page, there's a couple times that we're going to run around the show in between talking all about Milkies yeah. and show you some other products. Because there are other products that we just didn't have the ability to do that mm -hmm. so love that you guys have been here been Thank engaged you so much for being here i think this has been an amazing boob tube of course and uh we love sharing those amazing mom dad and grandma thank inventors you, Emily. yes thank you christian thank you thank you christy thank for you, sharing Thomas. and we love all you guys and we will see you soon for another boob tube number nine number nine next month <laughs> bye Thanks. guys bye.